Can you see it? Hmm? That cow. No. Hang on. There it is. How many hotels did you see? Oh, several. They're all quite small. It'd be too risky to go in. Stay there. Dad! Stay where you are. Dad, I just want to talk to you. Go home, son. You don't know what you're doing. I'm telling you, get away from me. Tom? Is that you, Tom? Here, then. Oh, I felt like a bit of fresh air. It's uh, hot inside. Oh. You uh, weren't thinking of going for a drive, then? <laughs> You've got the keys. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, but coppers know how to get into cars without keys, don't they? I'm tired. I'm off to bed. Oh, Tom. I wouldn't like you to back out now. I mean, that could be fatal. You asked me to make sure that my son went home. I've done that. You'll do as he's told. I'm not worried about him anymore. I wonder what happened to our young friend. Oh, well, I suppose he's around somewhere. He enjoys being on his own. going to recognize you. Not from that. Nope. Your father wants you to go home. That's what he was trying to tell you last night. I know. Would you? He can't know what they've been trying to do to us. Perhaps they're forcing him to go along with them. I don't see how he could. And he could have got away last night before the other man came out. But he didn't. In that case... We've tried going to the police before. They don't listen to me now. That was before you knew that he joined up with these men. What are they doing? They're just driving about, that's all. Apart from trying to kill us. Yes.
Oh, you needn't come with us today. Not this morning, Tom. We shan't be long, just an hour or two. He'll keep you company. I'll see you later. They haven't brought any luggage out. I'm just going for a walk. I'll come with you. Do you want to try and follow the car? I asked someone. That road leads to the moors. They might split up. John doesn't want to talk to you. We'll wait till they're out of sight. <laughs> Does that make you feel better? Yes. You've got all you want. You don't need that. Coppers and ex-coppers. There's no difference. I wouldn't trust any of them. I want to try and hear what they're saying. Come on. What is this place? An old lead mine by the little bit. Have they arrived yet? Arrived? Where? All right. Have it your way. You'll find out. In the end. But yeah, I should think so. Just about now. Long now. Information is good. 
waited a long time for this. It's got to be. Bulletproof. Two men and the chauffeur, all armed, all highly paid marksmen. So if you do your job, we shan't have to worry about this. I'm a craftsman. I do what I'm paid to do. One of the richest men in the world. Does he always wear sunglasses? In public, yes. Is that a problem? No, no problem at all. Good. Good. The photograph isn't the same. We wanted you to see him in the flesh. There will be no difficulty. You say something. No. How much is your share? Still the copper. Still asking questions. Come on now. Why do you think I followed you to Devon? Because you didn't like being framed and shoved out of the police force? Not at first, no. But then I got to thinking, and I realized that I knew enough to make it worth your while to keep me quiet. So now I'm here. You're here because you would have been a grieving father if you hadn't agreed to keep your mouth shut. That was no threat that your boy would be put out of the way if you didn't cooperate. It was a promise. I believe you. But haven't you ever thought that perhaps I wanted you to see me? <laughs> You're trying to say it was a fix. What do you think? You let us spot you, knowing what we do, just so that you could get in. <laughs> you took a chance bringing your son along, didn't you? Did I? Yes, you're in. But not for a share. Just that nobody gets hurt. Well, I think I'll talk to the top man about that. We haven't met him yet, have we? You've got nothing he wants. One of the richest men in the world, guarded night and day, mixed up in strange politics in his own country. Now, you're not interested in politics. But if someone paid you enough, and given the right opportunity, a man like Kessler would only want one shot. Time we were going. Yes, a word in the right quarter wouldn't help you very much, would it? We're not breaking any laws. Not much. Not yet. Talk to the top man if you want to. But you're still only guessing. We'll see what he thinks about my guesswork. They've gone. John, they've gone. As soon as we know enough about what they are planning, I'll go to the police again.
Uh, Tom, you can drive now. I'll tell you where later. Mr. Kessler, I, uh, I think it's best if you stay here. Why? Well, the uh, gentleman we're going to meet thinks it's best if you're not seen together. Swiss francs. He knows. Immediately on completion. He knows that too. If only he'd go back into the hotel. I wanted to follow them. Do you think they've gone to see the man your father was talking about? The top man? Perhaps, yes. Get my camera. Yes, well, I'll see where he goes. Don't take any chances. No, I'll be careful. that way this time you stay here inside the car all right John I can drive I, I mean I don't have a license or anything but I know how to look please just wait here well, I only meant if anything happened but he'd see the car anyway nothing's going to happen if I can photograph birds nesting I can easily get a shot of him This might take some time, but don't worry. Well, our new colleague, our uninvited partner. And how is Detective Inspector Corby? Ex-Detective Inspector Corby. Of course. 
That was a very good frame-up you hung on me, Morrison. Nicely done. Mr. Morrison now, don't you think? I never call villains, mister. Not even high-class villains. This isn't a public place, Corby. Those are my men. Well, perhaps I was too soft with you. Too kind-hearted. Could be. All you had to do was resign. I expect they're even letting you have a pension. I expect to come into a lot of money. Uh, eh? Who from? You. Suppose I pull the trigger now, Mr. Corby. <laughs> <laughs> 